Good morning, friends. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today, I've got some a few projects that we're gonna do, but I wanted to start out from right here because you can start to see everything kind of starting to show up here in 6A. The tree over here on this side is a prairie fire crab apple. It's really beautiful right now, and the little bees are just loving it. And then here on your left-hand side by the moon gate, we have a red bud. And then as we pan around here, see back there in the background, we have a couple more um, red buds. Everything's really starting to show out a bit, so that's exciting. Uh, if you can see here on the bottom right by the bridge back there in the back, there are some creeping flocks starting to look nice. So, and then I have a Japanese maple right there. Actually, two of them. You can see a little round uh, part right there. That's one. And then there's one over there. Um, that one actually has a good story behind it. Uh, the people across the street moved out of their home, sold it. Some investors bought it, turned it into a rental, and the folks there told me just to take it. They were tired of dealing, mowing under it, and I said, well, I'll take it. And, um, here we are today. So some of the other projects that we've got going on, we've done this right here. We did the new creek, planted the winter creeper in my last video. A couple videos prior, we added some color to the yard, which is okay, but now I've got a 27 degree um, incoming temperature low for Saturday, I believe. So I'm pretty miserable about it um, right here. Ivory halo, look at how beautiful that is. Yeah. Everybody needs a little variegation in the yard, right? But uh, today's work progress will be right here in this area. So right here in front of the shed, I am going to line this up. So you can see where they put the gray stone here and here leading right out. I would have much preferred it to be at an angle. So I could have followed this right here and it's it's okay. It is what it is. I just happened to um, not be available and they made the decision for me, which is fine. That's okay. So I will just, uh, I will just, we'll just go about it a different way. So today I'm going to remove the stone from here because it doesn't line up, I mean, it lines up right there in the middle. However, I want to be able to bring the lawnmower and stuff out of there. That's where I keep it, all my yard tools. So I'm going to come over here with that. Then I'm going to line up over here. We might not just go right off the rock. I think I'll come back just a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna plant some grass in there. On this side, I'm gonna to have to, um, you can see here, we're come out of the moon gate and then we just kinda of come back here and die off. I'm actually going to bring it out a little bit this way and uh, kinda of give it some a little circle right here i don't know i'm going to shoot from the hip i'll line up some rocks and we'll see how it works out and that's it's kind of what i do with the garden i just shoot from the hip so real no garden design i don't want to stress myself out or um, wrap my mind around something that i can't control uh, or understand my visuals just start kicking in and creativity and i move from there but uh you can see here that's kind of what i'm wanting to do just kind of soften it up as we come around here and then I'm gonna fold back this way and then this is gonna kind of come in through here so we stay cohesive and you know just kind of figure out what else we're gonna do my wife believes it's I want to come out let's see where's where's that my wife believes that I want to come out right here because I want to add more flowers she's not wrong I promise you she's not wrong but uh, Let's just get started and see how it how it unfolds and we'll see what the garden has to you know say. It'll speak to me as we're going and, and we'll figure it out. Right away I've got to move the uh, bird feeder here. I kept it in a spot where they don't tear up any um, flowers below and so I'll have to rethink that. But uh, we'll get started right away and see what this uh, day leads to. So let's check it out.
so what I'm doing here is I'm going to trim right through here and kind of right through there because I'm going to go get some sod so I can sod this in. And this right there happens to be really rough. If I was to pick camera up and lift it over it, it would be, you would see the bare spots. So um, I'm just going to kind of go right through here and around, clean that grass up, put some soil down so that I can lay some sod. Okay guys, right here, it's all coming together. So you can see the outline right here. That is going to be all grass, all the way up to here. You can see that rounded edge right there. That's the new border. Here's the new border on this side. It will follow these, um, this kind of this brick, gray brick to lead out to the garden. Now I have a place to go and don't have to worry about tripping over the rocks. However, I am going to, this was not part of the plan this morning, but in this spot right here, I was looking, um, now that I've kind of pulled it back, I've got a salvia, some sedum, a little Henry Spire. Those are all gonna get popped out of there. And I've been wanting to rehome this thing in the garden. So we are gonna get right after that. This sea green palm juniper here it's a little wooly because I neglected it last season but uh, not this season you know it kind of got sh lost in the shuffle because it kind of ties into the spirea back there I have a peony right here in front and then the flocks over here but I'm gonna pop that out of the ground it was planted two years ago so hopefully it's not too too terribly heavy uh, the kids are all gone today so I've got to be able to do that by myself but we're gonna pop it right over there and I think it now it'll kind of stand out like it should. So wish me luck and let's get after it.
Okay, friends, that was a fun little project. Uh, a lot of work. Those are super heavy. That root ball was massive. Like, I know it probably doesn't look, but once you get some damp uh, soil, <laughs> it, was, it was a lot. Um, you'll see in the video, you probably will see it whenever I um, edit this, but there are some thicker looking roots. That was from another tree that was just crossing through there. So when you see that, that's not actually part of the tree. So one of them I was able to just pull and the other one was tangled in there. I didn't really want to yank on it. So I just left it, but all in all, I think it turned out really well. So I had extra logs um, sitting back there. You probably remember one of my cleanup videos, but there was some extra ones that had been tossed under there. I ended up just bringing it back over here and um, setting it up. So I'm essentially bringing, hang you around here real quick. I'm essentially bringing a little bit of this side here to the other side and I feel like it really worked out um, like I said what this wasn't like a major major um, overdue but I really needed to get that grass back in there because I was tired of looking at that it just didn't look finished so I think it turned out well we'll give uh, the grass some time before I mow it I think it I think I read you gotta wait a couple weeks before you actually mow it, but I could be wrong. I'll do some research on that. Um, and if so, I will add that on here so I don't mislead anybody. But uh, yeah, I think it turned out well. And we've got a nice little crisp line right there. And so all this can be planted in. And at the end of the day, I kind of win because I do get to bring some more um, plants in here. So that'll be fun. I, I am going to use Let's see here. I'm gonna use this lamb's ear to kind of just backfill and fill into this area as long as the sun will allow it. You know how it kind of gets tucked in there in the shade and it might not grow as much, but um, I've got that in several spots throughout the garden. Just, you know, one of those designs that I've read about that you uh, use repeat plants to help it look more cohesive. So, oh, and then another thing, my buddy from Colorado gave me that. Sorry for the moving, but he threw that log in the back of my truck on the way out and uh it's kind of gnarly and you'll see in the video i think when i'm planting it right here this part right here looks really gnarly it kind of looks like a tusk um but yeah i i think it's fun and and uh again it's something that i mimicked from this spot here i like to do that so that's good stuff anyway um one of the things i do know is researching this juniper cannot be um, trimmed up right now <clears throat> supposed to do it when it's hotter we do have some cold temperatures still in the forecast uh, not freezing or anything but I don't want to push the limits and then lose this so I think once it uh, starts to warm up and I can really get back to trimming this in um, it'll look good I know in the video when I showed you that spot over where I had removed it from it was up close to that um, spirea and it just kind of it just kind of lo got lost in the mix and so um, it was just tucked in and actually some of the back side of that juniper actually has already started to uh kind of decline a little bit on one of the the balls let me just see if i can get you back there so i can show you but uh i think all in all it'll come out of it and i can give it a haircut soon but you see how right here it's starting to get a little bit lighter a little bit thinner and they should be really, really, uh, really full. But if I can pan you back, you can see. And it was just because it was getting too close to that spirea and they were sharing the same space and not enough sunlight. So there are some, there are some mega twigs in here that I'm gonna have to, uh, or branches that are coming out of there. I'm gonna have to, to ball up, but it's gonna be fun when I do. And that'll be the first time I've ever trimmed up a juniper in um, ball form. So that'll be fun can't wait to get that started but anyways thank you for watching we'll continue to uh improve the garden as we go this is uh just the beginning so talk to you soon folks bye bye